Hello everyone, I'm Greg Packwood. And I'm Tiffany Savoy. And welcome to MCYFL's Top 10 Plays of the Week. Where we bring you the best action in the MCYFL. That's right, Tiffany. Don't forget, we've got Tiffany's Information Corner and also Tiffany's Verse of the Week to look forward to. That's right, Greg. And last week, we had an amazing top play. It was Will Kari Thomas with a 100-yard fumble return. Unfortunately, it didn't count. Yeah, and as, as we mentioned last week, Tiffany, that's what jamborees are for. You know, we got to work out the kinks, we got to work out the bugs. But this week was our first full week, our first opening season game. So I know we came up with a bunch of highlights this week. Kevin? Greg and Tiffany, we're going to start things off first with some honorable mention plays. Senior Wolfpack taking on the Canes. Check out the nice pass. Lamar Ian Brooks to Abraham Ortiz. Nice catch, beautiful pass, 37 yards and a first down. Another great pass in the Pee Wee Kane game, taking on the Falcons. Check out Joel Rimmer, right on the numbers. The only touchdown in the game, mind you. Nice catch, nice pass, honorable mention play, number two. HM3, Pee Wee Vikings taking on the Knights. Vikings with football, Kane Altman dropping back, looking for Bryson Lamb, and he's got it. Now all he has to do is get into the end zone before Carter Mayo makes the tackle. Will Mayo catch him? He will tackle him, but that is a touchdown. Nice pass, nice catch. Touchdown, Bryson Lamb. Honorable mention play number three. Number four, Knights and Vikings switch it up. Knights with the football, Jakari Boother. Check out the pass to Gabriel Bailey. Beautiful pass, touchdown, and that's honorable mention play number four. And finally, honorable mention play number five, Senior Falcons taking on the Wildcats. Check out the pass, Maddox McDonald of the Falcons dropping back, looking deep, looking for Jaden Smith. He's got it, and he is gone. 60 yards in all. Touchdown, Jake Rudiani trying to make the tackle. Not quite able to keep him out of the end zone. Touchdown, and that's honorable mention play number five. Jake Rudiani, wow. Senior Wildcats, I wonder if he's going to be in the top ten this week. I, I don't really know, but let's check out week number one in the MCYFL. And let's get things going in the junior division. Hawks taking on the Wolfpack. Hawks kicking off up 14 to six, kicking it to number 18, Latrell Griffin of the Wolfpack. Going to his right, that does not look good. Instead, he comes back to his left, and that was a great idea because a lot of green grass. Down the sideline, Griffin goes. 78 yards, Griffin will travel. Touchdown for the Wolfpack. Nice run by Griffin, and that is play number 10. Play number nine, Cougars taking on the Colts. If you blink, you're going to miss the number nine play. That's because Aiden Carver comes right through the middle with a big time sack on quarterback Brantley Chardier. One more look, Chardier gets the snap and then gets popped. Aiden Carver coming through the middle. In fact, number 65, Carter Hersey's a, where did, was that a jet that just went by me? No, it was number seven, Aiden Carver. Great defensive play, big time sack play, number nine. Play number eight, back to the Pee Wee division. Canes taking on the Falcons, and that's number four. That's Joel Rimmer. You know, he just caught that touchdown pass in the honorable mention place. Check him out here, going to his right, going back to his left. He's in some trouble. A lot of Falcons around him somehow staying on his feet, and here he comes back to the right. Here comes Rimmer, and he breaks the tackle. Watch the stiff arm right here. Could he go all the way? Well, I'll tell you what, one person that was pretty unlucky, the official right here, because he's going to get wiped out by one of the Falcon players. But Rembert, he ran for about 4,000 yards and ultimately gained 15 on the play. I'm exhausted after watching that play. I think everybody else is. Tiffany, Greg, what do you think about that? Oh my goodness, play number eight. A 15 yard run doesn't sound like much, but Tiffany? Wow, I needed a drink of water as well, Greg. That was amazing. Joel Rembert for a 15 yard gain, took him 115 yards to make it. <laughs> I mean, he went right, he went left, he went right. I mean, it was amazing, it was amazing. And now it's time for our special feature, Tiffany's Information Corner. Tiffany, what you got for us this week? Thanks, Greg. This Saturday we'll be sizing for our jackets, so if you sold out your Sunnies tickets, come to the boardroom this Saturday and get sized with your team. This will be our last sizing for the season. And don't forget, Tiffany, MCYFL is always looking for volunteers. So if you guys would like to help us out, we are an all-volunteer organization and want to jump on board, just reach out to us with our website, mcyfl.us, or you can find us on Facebook. All right, let's get back to number seven. What you got for us, Kevin? Well, Tiffany Gregg's going to like this play as Falcons taking on the Broncos. Broncos kicking off to the Falcons. And this is number 16, Emma Johnson, picking it up from her own 30-yard line, going up the middle and then breaking outside and there she goes. But the MCYFL, it's a learning experience, right? Well, check out number 10, 
Dominic Ganey Jr. This is something, if you're playing the game, don't do this. If your other player's running in for a touchdown, don't hit somebody from behind. There's a block in the back. We don't want Emma Johnson, shark bait, that's her nickname. Don't want her upset, right? Great run by Johnson, play number seven. Play number six, this is the Pee Wee Cougars, number nine, Lane Holber. Why are we showing him, you ask? Well, they're taking on the Colts, and that's Mitchell Durden trying to get outside, but Holber says, no. Not only am I going to knock you down, I'm going to steal the ball away from you. He does just that. It is Cougar football. One more look. Check out the hustle by Lane Holber coming up with a huge hit, knocking down Durden. And while he's at it, he says, nah, I'm just going to go ahead and take the football. Great defense by number nine, Lane Holber. And that is play number six. Staying in the Pee Wee Division, play number five. Pee Wee Dolphins taking on the Rattlers. And Josiah Roundtree taking the football, going to his left. Has a lot of blue shirts, nice stiff arm. Watch him. He's going to tight rope the sideline and get into the end zone for the touchdown. How did he do that? One more look. The nice stiff arm by Roundtree and then somehow stays in bounds. Look at that. He's going to join the circus. He's on a tight rope. Beautiful play by Josiah Roundtree getting the touchdown for his Dolphins. And that is play number five. Play number four, a little razzle-dazzle. Junior Colts taking on the walk. It's first play of the game. Javari jumps the pass to Laquan Pruti, who finds a wide open Bryson Swole, breaking a tackle and taking it 55 yards into the end zone for the touchdown. One more look there, Swole playing the tight end role. He's going to go down the field. Watch Jackson Turner, ready to block the Wildcat defender. There's Pruti, has enough time, finding Swole. He's got it, breaking the tackle. He's gone. Well done, touchdown for the Colts, and that is play number four. Wow, Kevin, play number four, that was fantastic. The junior Colts, Laquan Prunty gets a backward pass, but does he run with it, Tiffany? No, he launches it downfield to Bryson Swole, who goes in for the touchdown, that was fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, we have now Tiffany's verse of the week. Tiffany, what'd you come up with? Thanks, Greg. This week, the verse is 1 Corinthians 9, 24. It says, do you not know that in a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in a way to get the prize. I think it's God's way of saying, let's go. Thank you, Tiffany. That was awesome. That was awesome. All right, Kevin, we're going to find out what our top 10 play of the week is. And I know you came up with something fantastic. What you got, buddy? Great play number three, Junior Cougars taking on the Rattlers. Cougars with the football, looking deep. Zachary Riddle, wide open, but no! Coming up with the INT is the Rattlers, Brantley Earhart. What an interception by number 11. One more look, the pass, Riddle, who can catch that football, but look at Earhart going up high and taking a big time hit to the ground, but what a catch by number 11, Brantley Earhart, and that is play number three. Now play number two, staying with the juniors. That's number 81, Blake Waldron, the junior Wildcats taking on the Colts. Cameron Evans getting the pitch, going outside, but check out Waldron. Not only does he knock it out of his hands, but he recovers the fumble. Great defensive play by number 81, Blake Waldron. One more look, Waldron keeping his eye on the prize, trying to knock down Evans, but instead knocks the ball out of Evans' hand does a little flip right there, and then he says, where's that football, where's that football? And he jumps on it. Great defensive play by number 81, Blake Waldron. That's why he's play number two. But our top play came from this young man, number 19, Jake Rudiani of the Senior Wildcats, taking on the Falcons. Maddox McDonald, QB for the Falcons, over the middle, but no! The pass is intercepted by Jake Rudiani. What an INT. One more look, Maddox McDonald over the middle, and check out Rudiani, one hands it. Now some people said, did he actually intercept the football? But you know what, I think his elbow was underneath the ball and he comes up with the INT. Youth officials, high school officials, college officials, even NFL officials, do you think this was an INT? Well, the officials on the field thought so and so did we. Great pick, Jake Rudiani, top play of the week. Wow, that was a fantastic number one play this week. Jake Rudiani, number 19 for the senior Wildcats and just a one-handed interception. Tiffany, that was a fantastic play. I enjoyed watching that. Kevin, you always come up with some great plays. Don't forget, check us out on our webpage, mcyfl.us, or on Facebook, and we are looking for volunteers. So if you can help us out and want to jump on board with us, get a hold of us. Oh, and don't forget your jackets this Saturday. Absolutely. I'm Greg Packlin. And I'm Tiffany Savoy. We'll see you next time. 
right here on MCYFL's Top 10 Plays of the Week.